expert, Catherine Epley. Hair can be very useful in limiting a pool of suspects in a forensics investigation. Hair is considered to be class evidence, meaning that it can only limit the amount of suspects, but cannot directly match just one suspect. The only time that there can be a direct match to one individual is if the root is still attached. This usually only occurs if the hair is forcibly removed from the head. The top picture shows a piece of just the hair follicle, making it class evidence. The picture below it is a hair follicle including the root, which can be used to match an individual to the hair found at the crime scene. Analysts can take hair from various parts of the body such as arms, eyebrows, heads, and eyelashes. The, this hair follicle then must be examined under a microscope. Hair is produced from the hair follicle which develops during fetal development. After birth, no new follicles are produced. Hair color is a result of pigments. There are two types of hair shapes, round or oval. There are also two types of te textures, which are curly or straight. These are mostly a result of genetics. Hair can also be impacted by nutrition or intentional arts alteration by items such as a straightening iron or a perm. This is a picture of a hair follicle. The outermost part of the hair is the cuticle, which is composed of overlapping scales. Then comes the cortex. This is the protein-rich structure that contains the pigment and separates the medulla from the cuticle. The medulla is the innermost part of the hair follicle. There are many medulla patterns which vary from person to person. This is a picture of a hair follicle including the cortex, medulla, and the cuticle. There are five types of medulla patterns. Continuous, which is one unbroken line of color. Interrupted, which is a line broken at regular intervals. Fragmented, which is a pigmented line unevenly spaced. Solid, a pigmented line filling the medulla and the cortex, and then none, with no pigmentation at all. The hair follicle was found on the victim's shoulder. When examining it under the microscope, I observed that this hair was light brown and there was no medulla. The hair was cut, so there was no root attached, making it impossible to do a DNA match. The cuticle was imbricate, meaning that the scales of the hair are flattened and close together. After examination, I believe that Buck Jones is the primary suspect. By looking at the follicle found at the scene and the follicle that was taken from Jones, I observed that they both have an imbricate cuticle as well as the same brown color with no medulla. The other suspects did not match due to differences in hair color as well as medulla type.